In your router settings, you have the opportunity to hide your Wi-Fi networks, so that way they don't show up in the list of available Wi-Fi networks when you're looking to make a wireless connection. The trouble with this though is if you can't see these Wi-Fi networks in the list of available networks, how do you connect to them in the first place? Well, in this episode from Network From Home, I'm going to be showing you how to connect to hidden Wi-Fi networks with both a Windows 11 laptop and an iPhone as well. Before we move on to the steps here, there's one thing that I want to make very clear, and that's that a hidden Wi-Fi network is actually no more secure than a non-hidden Wi-Fi network. I just want to get this out in front in case you're thinking about implementing hidden Wi-Fi networks in your home network. There's plenty of software available such as Wi-Fi analyzers that allow you to see hidden Wi-Fi networks just as easily as non-hidden ones. I've detailed all of this in a previous episode, so if you're thinking about implementing hidden Wi-Fi networks in your home network, I suggest you go check that out first before making any moves. With that, let's jump into the steps here. I've created a hidden guest Wi-Fi network in my home network. I'll flash the details here just so you can see what we need to connect to because it's very important that you know exactly what the Wi-Fi network name is when you're connecting to a hidden Wi-Fi network. You'll see why in just a minute. Here we are in my Windows 11 workstation. I'm not currently connected to any Wi-Fi networks, but if we go to the list of available networks, we go in here, we scroll all the way down. You can see here, hidden network. I'll unclick connect automatically, but let's click connect. And here you have the opportunity to put in the network name of the hidden Wi-Fi network. But let's just say I fat finger it here, MWFH guest. If I type it in incorrectly and hit next, it will have you put in a password. So let's put in the actual real password and see what happens. You get this error message here saying can't connect to this network. And that's because you didn't put in the network name correctly. So we'll close this. Let's try again. Let's go hidden network. Connect. Let's go NWFH guest. This is the correct network name. Let's hit next. From here, let's put in the actual password. As you can see, now we're connected. Network from home guest, connected, secured connection. It shows here that we're connected to a Wi-Fi network. It's as simple as that. Another thing I should mention here is that if in the list of available Wi-Fi networks, there are multiple hidden networks to connect to, you might have to use some context clues to find out which is the correct one that you're looking for. For example, this hidden Wi-Fi network here, the signal isn't that great, and it also says here that it's an open network. I know that in my home network, the hidden Wi-Fi network for the guests that I put together, it has a password, it's secured. I'm also close to my router, so I expect a strong Wi-Fi signal. This one here, it's secured. There's a strong Wi-Fi signal. I know this is the one that I'm trying to connect to. If I try to connect to this one, let's say connect, and I type in the correct name of the hidden Wi-Fi network in my home network, I get this notification, can't connect to this network. If you know you're typing in the network name correctly and you're getting this notification, you know you're selecting the wrong hidden network. All right, now let's walk through the steps of connecting to a hidden Wi-Fi network with an iPhone. As you can see here, I'm not connected to any Wi-Fi networks currently. So you basically just follow the steps as if you wanted to connect to an available Wi-Fi network. We go into settings. Next, we select Wi-Fi. From here, you see the list of available Wi-Fi networks, but we're actually gonna scroll down and select other. And here, it's very important once again to correctly type in the network name of the hidden Wi-Fi network. So let's type that in. N W F H guest. And then we'll put in the password as well. Select join. And soon enough here you see we're connected to the network from home guest hidden Wi-Fi network. You can even see right underneath the network name it says hidden network, just identifying that this is a hidden Wi-Fi network that you're connected to. If you have a tablet or another mobile device, chances are the steps for connecting to that hidden Wi-Fi network will probably be similar to either my Windows 11 steps that I walked through or the iPhone steps that I went through. The most important concept is the same here. 
you need to know exactly what that hidden Wi-Fi network name is, as well as the password. Otherwise, you won't be able to connect to that network. All right, it's as simple as that. You should now be equipped to connect to hidden Wi-Fi networks. Even if you're not implementing them in your home network, chances are you might be in a situation either at a friend or family member's house where you still need to connect to a hidden Wi-Fi network. So it's good to know how to do it just in case. If you have any questions about this information, please drop a comment below. If this video was helpful for you, please give it a like so that way it gets shared with other people who can benefit from this information as well. And if you like the types of content, the tips and tricks that I'm putting out on my channel, I invite you to subscribe. That way you'll get to see every time I put out a new video. And as always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.